more than 100 different apple varieties on display, all grown in BC. There's a couple of apples we have now that are available around the world that were introduced to the world at the UBC Apple Festival. Vo says she founded the festival 33 years ago to educate people about the province's local orchardists. I mean, we do this festival um, to educate families about apple diversity. We sell in our apple market over 50 different varieties of apples. And for most people, that's a revelation that there's more than the six to eight apples that you can buy at your local grocery store. Despite the downpour, there were plenty of smiles, live music, food vendors, and cooking demonstrations. It's the UBC Botanical Garden's biggest fundraiser, but not only that. But it's also our highest profile event, which then I think opens people's eyes to biodiversity generally. And that's really what we're in the business of doing here is to uh, try to promote biodiversity. That biodiversity is what researchers are trying to preserve. He says with climate change, local agriculture is struggling and how we grow apples has to adapt. What's going to save us is an understanding of the, the sort of the broader genetics of food plants. So we have um, people who are working here in the university, but around the world in creating crops that are better suited to different kinds of environments. And All money raised at the festival helps fund research initiatives at the university. He believes one of the best ways to reduce climate change that continues to impact local growers is by better supporting local growers. Whatever we can do to reduce that carbon that's going into the atmosphere, that's, that's going to be good. And, and we can by concentrating on local produce. And ultimately, improving food security in the province. Maurice Katz, CBC News, Vancouver.